Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning layer on C programming. So in this video tutorial, we're going to see how we can pass the elements of a structure variable to a function. And then we're going to see how we can pass an entire structure variable to a function. So here for the demonstration purpose, I have created a structure called student. So as a members, we have uh, uh, the name which is of uh, character array type and we have a roll number which is of type integer so now in this main function we're gonna create a variable of type student so it's gonna be struct student then the variable name let's call it anil so now we're gonna assign the values to these members of this uh, structure variable anil so first we have to assign the name that's why I'm gonna use this strcpy function that's because uh, you know you can't assign a string value using uh, assignment operator it's gonna be the target uh, that we have to specify first it's gonna be um, anil dot name then the value or the string you want to you know copy to the target it's gonna be anil then we have to assign the roll number to this uh, structure variable anil it's gonna be anil dot uh, roll number then assignment operator and let's say one two three four now we have defined a structure called student and we have a structure variable of type student so now in this tutorial we're gonna create two functions one function is gonna take the elements of this structure variable anil and and the next function is gonna take the structure variable anil as a parameter so first we're gonna do the function prototyping so it's gonna be void display so now we're gonna make this uh, display function to take the elements of this structure variable anil individually so first element is gonna be of type character array that's the name that's why while function prototyping we're gonna write char then the square brackets so the next element or the parameter is gonna be of type integer that's the roll number that's why I'm gonna prototype it with int here so now we have you know prototype a function called display which is gonna take the elements of this structure variable anil individually so the next function is gonna be let's call it show and this show function is gonna take the entire structure variable as a parameter so it's gonna be struct student so make a note that you know while function prototyping when you use this struct student uh, make sure that you have defined that structure here so if you are writing this function prototyping before the declaration of this um, structure student then you will get some errors so now we have two functions one is display and one is show so we have to define them in our program so after this main function I'm gonna uh, define my display function It's gonna be display the parameter for this display function is gonna be char uh, let's call it um, n which is for name then we have int roll number let's call it r so here within this display function we're gonna use a printf statement and we're gonna write um, in display function add a new line then we're gonna use another printf statement it's gonna be printf then uh, we're gonna print the values we received as a parameters so first we're gonna write uh, percentage s that's for the name then add a tab then percentage d that's for this roll number or r so add a new line then we're gonna refer the variables it's gonna be n and uh, that's for name and uh, you know r for roll number here so now we have this display function the next thing we have to do is we have to define our show up function it's gonna be void show then as a parameter this show function is gonna take it's gonna take the structure variable so it's gonna be struct student let's call it s so now we're gonna use two printf statements so I'm gonna copy from display function and paste it here so okay here we're gonna say in show of function a new line before that to make it pretty then we're gonna display the elements of this uh, 
structure variable received so it's going to be percentage s for the name and uh, uh, percentage d for the roll number and here we have to make it s dot name and s dot roll number so now we have defined two functions uh, one function is going to take the structure variable elements individually and another function is going to take the structure variable as a parameter so now we need to call that function in our main function so it's going to be you know after the assignment of values to this uh, structure variable anil we're going to call the display function first with a par as a parameters we have to pass anil dot name that's my name and uh, we have to pass anil dot roll number so next we're going to call our show up function and as a parameters we have to pass a structure variable it's going to be anil so i'm going to save it compile it and run it so it says in the display function and the values i received are anil and uh, one two three four so this display function received the elements of the structure variable anil independently as we have as you can see here we have passed passed the name first and then we pass the roll number so it just uh, printed out the values it received so next in show of function as a parameter it received a structure variable and uh, it just printed out uh, you know the values of that um, you know uh, structure variable it received as dot name and uh, as dot roll number so so this is it this is about uh, passing a structure variable elements individually to a function and uh, passing an entire structure variable to a function so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe i see you in the next tutorial